We kick off today's show in the United Arab Emirates, where the Expo 2020 Dubai is in full swing. The China and Saudi Arabia pavilions are among the biggest crowd drawers, with their fusion of tradition and high-tech advances. This week is Giant Panda Week, showcasing the best of China's technological advances and its rich traditions. Yo-Yo, the robotic panda, can dance and pose with you for photos in front of the China Pavilion. If you're lucky, you'll receive one of the 2020 stuffed toy pandas being given away as gifts to visitors at Expo 2020 Dubai. There's also a 400-square-meter exhibition inside the pavilion on giant panda conservation in China. It highlights the country's achievements in saving the species from endangered status through its successful propagation, reproduction and release in the wild programs, as well as international scientific research cooperation on giant pandas. Through a series of exhibitions, we combine the panda, a cultural icon with the Chinese characteristics, with some technological innovations, which left a very deep impression on the visitors. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia's eye-catching pavilion invites the world for a glimpse of its future in less than a decade from now. Launched in 2016, the country's Vision 2030 includes a series of economic and social policies aimed at reducing the kingdom's dependence on oil exports. The Saudi Arabia Pavilion hopes to invite the world to learn about the past, present and future of Saudi Arabia as well as the Vision 2030 blueprint by exploring our pavilion. In a corner of its sprawling exhibition area is an installation of 2,030 crystal beads symbolizing the year 2030. The kingdom has one of the largest pavilions in the entire expo, measuring approximately two football pitches, and is integrated with various high technology elements. Its pavilion is second in size to the host country, United Arab Emirates. The $8 billion Expo 2020 Dubai, postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, opened on October the 1st and will run until the end of March in 2022. CGTN.